moment of birth, each of us is as free as a bird, with not a single restraint tying us down. But with age come the very shackles that bind, clipping away at our wings, feather by feather. In time, we long for a return to the freedom we once knew. But the truth is... We can return to those days, whenever we so choose. ocean breeze, the wide open sea, smells like a new journey on our horizon. I gotta say, I'm glad I took you up on your offer, Adel. Being stranded on Asteria for so long was really getting to me. I'm glad I asked you to come. Same. This has me even more pumped than all the way back when I first left my hometown. It's been a wild ride since then, but that doesn't make me any less grateful to you. I can hardly remember the last time I felt this chipper. Addo! Dogi! So this is where you two were. My, I never dared dream I'd get to see the actual ocean in person. Even now, it's difficult to believe a vessel this large is capable of floating upon its waves. What manner of sorcery is this? I guess this is all one big culture shock for someone born and raised on East. Dr. Flair here is even giddier than me. That I am. In my view, being on the surface instead of above it is a miracle in itself. To say nothing of the unprecedented chance it's given me to search for the original strain of Selcetan flower. Selcetan flower? That's the name of a type of medicinal herb, right? It's native to the great forest on the Galia Hispani border or something. Indeed it is. I couldn't very well rest on my heels after hearing that's where you two were headed. The prospect of seeing it in its natural habitat was ample reason to climb aboard. Your getup and go could put even Adel to shame. But be sure to mind your health, okay? At the rate you're going. You'll end up fading in sheer bliss the second you stumble onto those flowers. <laughs> well, frankly speaking, that scenario is all but guaranteed. Well, we won't be arriving in Celsetta for a long while yet. Might as well kick back a bit and enjoy the ride for now, don't you think? Seasoned traveler for a boy or <laughs> so my hunch was correct. This may be no surprise to you then, but we have some extraordinary sights coming up shortly.
This current bout of clear weather lets us see the myriad patches of land, both large and small, that populate these waters. It will be quite some time yet before the ship arrives at our destination in Celsena. So until then, we invite you to bask in this scenic tapestry of blue seas and beauteous islands. Understood. Let's make haste. My word! Obelia Gulf, huh? Sure doesn't disappoint. That reminds me, Tattle. You said you were looking for a western archipelago before you came to Asteria, right? Is there any chance this might be... Whoa! A little close for comfort, don't you? How's a guy supposed to take in the sights like this? Hey, Adel! Men, prepare to hunt! Behold thy foes with steady hearts. Fear not thy fate, for life and death are the deities to decide. Those who fall with valor shall be ushered into their divine kingdom. Now, shout forth the name of our god! So he did hire mercenaries. Shield wall! Charge! Stay behind us, Doc! Right. Thank you. Spit on the puny side. Sure you know which way to hold that. What a joke. The big luck by... What difference does that make? You've still got a blade of... Enough chit-chat. Princess, I must ask that you stand down. That boy appears to be no more than a passenger. What? We have already apprehended the captain. Right this way. <sighs> so those are pirates. Jam now. Ugh. Captain Vic 
Dr. LaSalle. I thought we had an agreement. There's a toll for sale in these waters. And you promise never to skip out on it again. H hold on a moment! This is the last time, I swear! Whatever you do, just let me live! We both already know how this goes. Any room you had to parley was forfeit the minute you put those mercenaries on your payroll. <laughs> Stay your hand, boy. Those are no mere pirates. They're the Balta Sea Force. Stuffed. Guess Goody, the stuff you get further in. That aside, it would seem we're going to be stranded here for the time. Yeah. Who'd have guessed the Adamus was cruising through these waters illegal? Obviously, the captain already paid the ultimate price, for but I hear they're even seizing his ship as compensation for all those unpaid toll. It leads me to wonder what the story is behind this Balta seat to their credit. They did let Adel loose after determining he was merely a passenger. Doesn't make those lugs any less high and mighty, though. If they look like pirates and... Like Normans, you mean? Normans, you... There are lawless people from the north with incredible seafaring know-how. Word is, they've looted their way not just here, but across the entire North Sea. Raiding towns, pillaging churches, kidnapping innocents. None of them. The Balta Sea Force makes up just one faction among them. 
Sounds like your typical pirates to me. I was given to understand that the entire region of Glia fell under Roman Imperial control. Rumor has it that not even the Empire would dare to defy the Sea Force. The Normans have had an iron-fisted grip on Obelia. Some say that it spares us from suffering under Roman... Hey, did you hear about what happened to the Adamas? I did. Captain Lasall was treading in. Won't argue with that. Still, it's hard not to... Those pirates had no right to waltz in like they owned these waters, and why should any of us have to play along with their made-up... Shush! I can sympathize, but that sort of talk is best kept to yours. Oh, what did I do to deserve being born in car... I see what you mean. Doesn't sound like they get the warmest reception around, as would be the case in any town. Though this one does seem to have its fair share of... <sighs> It does have its charms, the bevy of islands we saw from the ship for- Oh, yes, that's true. We locals are so- That reminds me, these islands wouldn't happen to come with any unusual myth. Our little group's got a special interest in that sort of thing. Is that your re- I can't guarantee there's anything that'll live up to your expectations. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha! If it's run-of-the-mill folk tales you're after, I have just the one. Really now? Well, legends tell of what's known as the Sea. The throne is said to be hidden away on one of the islands here in Obelia Gulf. Supposedly, whoever finds and sits upon it will have their wishes granted. Oh, -ho. that's some juicy stuff. How about it, Adel? This do anything for you? Who are you fooling? I can. Uh, uh, hold on a moment. It really. Oh, what's the harm? Let them chase their dreams! Heck, back when I was their age... Forgive him. He's had a few ales too many. It's to say that throne really exists, though. What would you... Huh? Well, for our humble little business to prosper, of course. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye, it does. <laughs> Renee must be proud. It's easy. Makes me want to spend three days and nights drinking this t And I do it all with a smile. The more they... How sweet! I think you've had quite enough for one day. Our apologies for bothering you, gentlemen. Nah, that's all. Like they mentioned, my name is Rosalind. I'm the daughter of the... the... Three of you are going to be watching with us tonight, right? If you have any issues during your stay, anything at all... Of course! Always happy to be of service. Well, I'd better get back to work. Such a capable young lady. By the way, Adam, I know this Sea King's throne is a big deal and all. The travel funds we scratched up quite right. With that in mind, I plan to pay the local clint upon our arrival. I noticed a flyer that said they were recruiting men. Well, ain't that convenient. Doesn't really solve the issue. Are you youngsters in need of work? Yeah. Got any well, both the harbor and the town militia are high. The docks are always short on labor. I'm sir. And the red-haired lad is a swordsman, though. The mo- No joke? That's great! Thanks for the tip! Seems we have a few promising cash. Sure do! Now let's get out there and follow up on them once we're done taking a load of them.